Navigating Maya's user interface can be a little overwhelming when you first open the program. So we're going to break it up into sections, starting with the top. Along the very top of our user interface, we're going to see a menu. This is probably going to feel familiar from a lot of other programs you've used in the past. We have File, where we can open scenes or save scenes or even exit the program. Um, all the way at the end of the user interface, we're going to see Help. And this is going to be very useful for you as you get started. If we click the Help menu, there's a lot of different options for answering questions that you may have. Um, notice that the second option here is Autodesk's Maya Help, and the shortcut key for that is F1. So if we just hit F1 at any time, it will open up an embedded website that you can use to um, learn about new features in Maya or ask specific questions. And there are also several tutorials and help files in here. Maya's menu system can be very robust. For example, if I click on Windows, you'll see I have all of these options. But if I mouse over one of the options that has an arrow at the end, you'll see that expands out even to more options. If I mouse over some of these, you'll see that there's some options that expand even more. So the menu in Maya can be very deep. Navigating all of these menus can get a little repetitive. So Maya allows us to tear off specific windows simply by clicking the double dotted line at the top of the menu. We can move the window wherever we want. And whenever I'm done, I can close it. Directly below the menu is the status line. The status line has some commonly used icons such as undo and redo or save. Um, there are also other features for snapping and some render tools that we'll learn later. But the thing we're going to pay attention to most is all the way at the beginning, this little drop down box that currently says modeling. I'm going to click on that drop down box and watch what happens to the menu above when I change my status to something else. If I go to animation, I now get a whole new set of menu options. This allows Maya to embed many, many options in a single menu without taking up too much screen real estate. Directly below our status line is the shelf. The shelf is a series of some of the most commonly used icons in Maya. For example, right now we're in the poly modeling section, and these first few icons will allow us to create specific polygon models. Now, I can create all of these polygon mo models through the menu as well, if I go to Create, Polygon Primitives, Sphere, I can create the sphere, and you'll see that there are many more options within the menu than there is on the shelf, but the shelf contains the most commonly used items. The shelf can be a little confusing because all of these icons are not labeled. For example, like, what is this circle with a target in the middle of it? Maya will often give you little pop-up hints, as we see here, Merge to Center, Merge Selected Components to their center point, um, if you're not seeing this, or even if you do and it goes away, like that, um, we can always find more information about what this does just by looking all the way at the bottom of our screen. So you'll see down here at this very bottom line, um, this is our help line. So again, if I mouse over an item here, you'll see on our help line, this says Polygon Taurus, create a Polygon Taurus on the grid. And so this tells us that if I click that, I'll be able to create a polygon torus. So let's go ahead and click now on a sphere and just create a sphere in our viewport. 